What's up everyone, another void here with a new game for you. This is The Police, just came out on Steam last week. Uh, I asked for a key for review and a Let's Play and I got one and here it is. I think it's like $13 or something, it's not very expensive. Uh, it might be $20, I, I can't remember, I just looked at it really quick. Uh, my friend told me about it, said it's pretty cool. It's a police management game, so it's kind of a building game like I like on my channel. Let's get right into it, let's go back here, we're going to start up a new game. Um, I'm a little nervous about this, and this is why I didn't put this out a couple days ago. It's because I have not had a chance to actually play this game very much, it's more of a story based uh, building game as well, so there's a lot of cutscenes and a lot of story, and it takes a long time to get into the game. So. I'm just going to be learning as I go. There aren't a lot of good tutorials that I've seen, um, so we're just going to learn as we go. Let me know if you have this game. You can give me some tips in the comments below. Um, we're going to go with new game. There we go. So hopefully this doesn't stop the video. Um, hopefully it didn't do that like generation thing where the video kind of locks up. Uh, I don't think it did because it's not generating in a world or whatever. So the basic storyline here is you're a police chief and you're a uh, half a year from retirement and you're trying to build up a nest egg okay so you are not generally a good guy or a bad guy you really need, you're just trying to generate money but not get fired or thrown in jail or things like that uh, and then you're going to retire in half a year so that's what you're trying to do but you're also going to manage you know the city's cops and stuff like that so mayor rogers is he a sex maniac uh so mayor rogers is kind of your arch nemesis i think he kind of like wants you to quit and all this other stuff Jack Boyd's resignation, that's us, Jack Boyd, me, right? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Go to work. So it's kind of got a cool art style. Um, I think this is late 50s. I, I'm not positive on the uh, what time era this is. But it's pretty cool. Um, it's I think it's developed by a small development studio. When I can't I remember. Kid, my father sometimes told exactly. me at bedtime that if I closed my eyes and didn't open them for a long time, all the demons would blow away. So here's the story part, obviously. Yesterday I turned 60. 60? I still take his advice. Not because I'm sentimental or want to keep the memory of my father alive. I just can't think of a better solution. Nice. To get away from all the demons that haunt Freeburg, I need to wear a <laughs> blindfold 24-7. Sounds like Plus Chicago or something. Act blind when talking or maybe it's to Detroit. At least that's what my colleagues say. They're afraid of press conferences. But for me, it's more like a confessional. Nice. No matter what lies you tell, you're privately thinking the honest answers. It helps me remember who I am. The fact that I'll be reading all about it in the papers tomorrow is a small price to pay. Call it penance for the preacher. So another thing that's hard for me is, since I'm a YouTube commentator, is not talking. And sorry, that was my tea. I'm trying to pour tea in my cup, and it just got everywhere. But yeah, it's hard for me to not this talk. This is the first time I'm afraid of those answers my mind has given me. Not because I'm mad I'm losing my job. Though it's true, I'm mad as hell. Not because I subconsciously blame everyone else. Though I damn sure do blame them. And don't even ask me what my next move is. I can't imagine. But even that doesn't scare me. The worst thing is, I know I'm gonna have to do something. I'll be damned if I know how far I'll go. Yeah, makes him. Uh, I may have a lot of vices. You should probably start a prostitution isn't ring. One of them. That's right. So I guess throughout this thing, you also get to make choices, which kind of drives the story. Ago, we'll do that in a second drive here. Away the swarming demons. But what do you do when they're trying to rip your soul from your skin? Shutting my eyes tight as I can. The best solution remains the same play blind. I just hope the reporters think I was blinded by the camera flash. So right now we're going to be making different choices right here. So we're having a press conference. Good morning. Yesterday the mayor... Okay, hold on a sec. I didn't know it was going to be ready, so I was doing something else at the same time. Yesterday, the mayor's office officially announced your resignation. Did this come as a surprise, or did you know about it in advance? So, I need to kind of dodge their questions, right? That's kind of what he, he was saying. Yeah, that would not go over well. Uh, the mayor discussed it with me. That kind of... Because what you want to do is, I'm not trying to piss him off, because then I'm not going to be able to get as much money, right? So, i got to keep him off my trail. And if I piss him off, like, well, if I... If I say to the to the press that uh, 
you know, I'm having issues or whatever and make the mayor look bad, he's going to come down on me, right? So no, it didn't come as a surprise. Do you, do you already know the name of your successor? Uh, I'll just say no. Basically, I'm trying to dodge, right? Of course not, and I don't think the mayor's office knows who it is either. So that's probably a good, a safe answer, right? And you might think that's stupid, like, why don't these kind of people tell the truth? But, dude, it, it, when you get into high enough offices, an office like this, you can't just tell the truth. It doesn't work that way. After the recent corruption scandal, your deputy Francis Kendrick says, said he was looking forward to resigning. If the mayor offered him your position, would that change his mind? Perhaps. Sounds possible. If he thinks the new office would help him serve the city a little longer. Although Kendrick was acquitted, many still believe that the police are cooperating with the Mafia. Uh, <coughs> they are. So, do uh, you have anything to say about this? Well, I don't want to say bullshit. Let's see if he said... Excuse me, but this is a pile of horse shit. The Mafia and the police working together? Maybe they're in cahoots with the aliens. The Mafia are a bunch of low-life criminals. Now, I don't know if this is going to hurt or what, because they... You know, we're trying to throw them off the trail. How about ask someone ask a real question? Do you think your personal relationship with America could be the reason behind your retirement? Definitely not. That's just not possible. Mayor Rogers is a true professional, and he makes his decisions carefully. The, this, there's no place in our jobs for hard feelings. See, although I'm pissed, I can't show the public that I am, so that, you know... How's the back today, Mr. Boyd? Same as usual. How did the press conference... I'm really hoping... You can read about it in the newspapers the tomorrow. The audio's good. Don't let anyone in. On the... Even Mr. Kendrick? On the game side. Mr. Kendrick. Because, uh, I, I didn't really check the audio either with when I was recording. So I'll, I'll have to either turn it up or down or something. I might have to adjust it. Tell me in the comment section if you can hear it all right, though. So I'm going to my office, popping some pills, of course. Probably, I don't know, for stress, I have no idea. Three of them, that's pretty hefty. Yeah, Stogie. My kind of man. As soon as I heard the door creak, I knew what face I'd see. When I tell Emma not to let anyone in, there's only one man it could be. Kendrick. Rude, arrogant, oh. No warning. That's Mayor Rogers in a nutshell. Because Kendrick is a second white in line. White shoes, white socks, white shorts, white polo shirt. A With white a black heart. A hungry shark. Mayor Rogers enters every room like he owns the place. Even the floorboards under his feet sound like they're creaking in apology. <laughs> he never shied away from the odd corruption scheme. It's like the devil walks behind him. In the movies, the villains controlling the city play golf with the judges. Rogers plays tennis with them instead. <laughs> That's about the only difference. I love the art Jack. style of this, of this game. I was hoping to catch you. Jack! You, uh, you ran away so quick. <laughs> Sounds like a douche. There's no smoking at City Hall. No reason for me to hang around. Nice. Yeah. This morning, I signed a ban on smoking in all public buildings. Soon, you won't be able to smoke here, either. <laughs> Soon enough, I won't be here at all. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. The people of this city like you, Jack. The police chief, of all people. <laughs> <laughs> don't, uh, don't betray that, Jack. Don't get wrapped up in any schemes. <laughs> Sit nice and quiet for the next 180 days, and uh, and you'll be remembered as a hero. That's the only thing. Mm, I don't think so. Have left. Be the hero. No, I can make but money. How am I supposed to scrape together a retirement fund? You had a million chances to secure a luxury pension, one that even I would have envied. Although I've never set aside any money for myself. I'm not planning to retire anytime soon. Nice. Oh, he took his cigar. What an ass. <laughs> oh, man. 180 days of quiet, Jack. That's all I need. I don't have any problems with you, and you won't have any problems with me. What's he doing I now? I have a new assistant, Troy Starr. If you have something to tell me, call him. 
But try not to bother him. He's a he's a busy man. Oh god. I'll do my best. He's a busy man. Don't give a crap about that. I'm calling him anytime I want. Office. One of my friends will be using it soon. Oh man, what a douche. I'd smoke now I'd smoke double. Whoa, hey. Yeah, baby. Oh, I'm sorry, babe. Only the mayor has this number. Yeah. We could go, just Mr. go back to mayor? what you were doing. Yeah, is this Troy Star? Yes. Go fuck yourself, Troy <laughs> Star. <laughs> oh, that's great. I love this game already. Two thumbs up already. Two th oh, checkpoint. Hit a checkpoint. We get, like, achievements. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, see, there's repercussions to your choices. Only <laughs> assholes join the mafia. Great. What? Oh, come on. I like all the coffee stains. That's kind of cool. Oh man, that's. Wow, that's jacked up, dude. I, I didn't say any of that stuff. I need a new car, bro. Maybe we can get him like a Ferrari or something. Cops don't use the police station cafeteria anymore. There's some kind of stigma against sitting shoulder oh. to shoulder with your partners. Everybody just takes snacks from the machines or grabs a meal and hammers it down in the corner like a vulture on a corpse. <laughs> this is great. I love thing? the writing. Don't look into anyone's eyes. Could be construed as an invitation to sit together. <laughs> the only people eating here are ghosts. Who's this dude? My deputy, Francis Kendrick. He recently became one of those ghosts. The subject of one of the most devastating corruption scandals in the history of Freedom. Huh. No evidence to support the accusations, but everyone knows Kendrick's days are numbered. Yeah, he got caught. I need that file I asked for. Wow, that dude's old. to be ready tonight. Francis didn't say anything, but I understood. Ghosts aren't supposed to talk. Besides, I got a feeling he was already finished. Hmm. So, at some point, we actually get to play... Ah, uh, here we go. Would you like to receive tips about how the game works? Of course, because I can't find any good tutorials online. In fact, I I looked up you on YouTube. This is the police tutorial. And this one said, oh, it's a t tutorial. So I start playing it or watching it. And it was just a let's play. I'm like, that's not a tutorial. Please, blah, 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 blah. I don't need anyone telling me how to do my job. So let's show me what you got. Freeburg PD organizes upcoming work assignments into shifts for day for today and tomorrow. Every shift, officers respond to crimes in progress, and detectives continue their investigations. You can freely move employees between shifts. Very cool. And I got more messages coming in. What is this crap? Uh, okay. All right, so, yeah, my girlfriend's just met. I don't know. I'm recording, so. Uh, blah, blah, blah. You can freely move. Okay, good. And all officers and detectives possess several important characteristic characteristics. Oh, he's a drinker? Probably. Professionalism shows the overall efficiency of your policemen. A figure around 150 is considered average. Uh, any policeman who falls short of this mark is not entirely reliable, while those whose professionalism is considerably higher than average are a safe bet, even in a pinch. An individual's level of professionalism may rise and fall over the course of their career. Energy shows how tired your cops are. The less energy your people have, the less reliable their work, and a policeman who is exhausted might fall asleep at the wheel or make a critical error. Your employees lose one point of energy after each working day and restore one point after each day of rest. Do they just go home on the weekend? Like everybody else? Your employees don't tell... Well, I guess you have to have cops for the weekend. Employees don't tell you everything. Some additional characters are hidden from view. For instance, some cops are lazy and will come up with any reason they can think of to take the day off, while others like to drink too much. You can only guess about these things, but you should be able to draw your own conclusions based on their behave the behavior of your employees. Well, this says a drinker, right? Okay, so I got a couple detectives, it looks like, and a bunch of beat cops. So I got Mole? That, that doesn't sound good. Wow, these guys are super unprofessional. Look at this dude. Why even fire this guy? Why, why do you even have him working here? 
All right, cool. Start the day. Shift B. I don't even know what Shift B is. All right, so now we're actually to the part of the game where we're going to manage things. Ooh, SWAT. Nice. Okay. So, can you pause? Calls. Responding to calls is the bread and butter of the police work. You need to send your officers to the crime scene. Wait, why am I doing dispatch? Before the time expires, a mark on the map shows where the call came from. The far, further away the des farther away the destination is from the police station, the longer it will take your officers to travel back and forth, so the longer your people will be tied up and unavailable. Okay. Everyday Mall. Can I pause? I can't. The easiest way to determine how difficult the ta task might be is to check how many units you are allowed to send. The more units you can send, the more serious the alleged threat. Particularly risky missions give the option of sending SWAT, but they must be accompanied by at least one officer. Okay. So, the number of slots is not the only thing to consider. Any available information from the location of the crime scene to the presence of weapons and so on, all of this can tell you how serious each case should be taken. A mission might look simple at first glance until it turns into a brutal meat grinder. Or a serious call can come in, which turns out to be a false alarm. Okay. Cool. A married couple ex excited, oh, exited a convenience store and saw a van in the parking lot back over a homeless man who had been digging through a trash can. The driver jumped out to help, but once he saw that he'd hit a bomb, he got back in the van and quickly drove away. Well, he's gone. Well, there's probably not... Okay, we can send people we don't really care about. Just send this chick. Nobody's even there. That's kind of taking chances, but we're going to send this chick. To... To Subaki? To Subaki. Can we pause? How do you pause? Oh, like that. Okay. It's probably escape, does it too? So we got another call. Uh, and it pauses time. That's good. The last picture show theater. A theater manager reports that during a show of Citizen Kane, a drunk man attempted to force his way into the theater, carrying a snowboard decorated with the word Rosebud. When he was denied entry, he violently attacked the cashier and is currently fighting with the theater security guard. We'll send two dudes on that. We'll send one of our top dogs and this crappy officer. Alright, go punch people in the face. Let's do this. Send SWAT! We need to send SWAT! We should send SWAT on everything. Is there a way to zoom in or move the map around? Nope. So they're going to go around. What is money? I don't understand. Oh, is it raining or something? Yeah, okay, it's raining. I wish I had a hit and run. Oh, okay. When every, everything goes well, the police capture the criminals and nobody dies. But the truth is, sometimes the criminals manage to escape. Just try to avoid any dead cops or civilians. Dead cops will hurt your roster, and dead citizens bother the mayor even more than living ones, which makes sense. Okay. Off offender escaped. Officer unharmed. Uh, is that down or up? I think that went down. Okay. I think that went down, but... So she's returning. You got no calls coming in. How am I going to make money? 20 and 90. Officer, offender caught, officers unharmed, civilians unharmed. Good, they both went up 10 points. Very good. Good job, guys. Or girls, whatever. Good job, everybody. Armed robber in the suburbs. Three teenagers armed with a shotgun robbed a videotape store. Oh, okay, live good. Uh, the criminals fled in a car, but the store manager wrote down the la car's license plate. The owner is one Janet Brown, who lives in the suburbs. Alright, this one's pretty serious business. We're gonna send... Two cops. We'd send the SWAT team! Do it! Yeah, 311A in progress. So our cops are coming back, that's good. Good, we got some cops back. What are you doing? Oh, there's a crime in Brock? Another fight? A brother and sister clashed with each other over their decreased, deceased father's will. According to one of their lawyers, we don't dare separate them. And our security guard is off duty. Uh, we'll send this guy with this crappy dude. Get out there! Oh, I have a certain amount of time to... Uh... Oh, ghetto! Uh-oh. 
Uh oh. In the ghetto. A passerby saw some teenagers attack an elderly musician, then run away with his guitar and his money. Well, let's send everybody we got. We should have people back soon. We're going to the ghetto, for God's sake. We should send SWAT. There we go. Everybody's out now. If we get a call now, we're screwed. When your cops aren't sure how to proceed, they might contact you and ask you how to, to handle the situation. Try to deal with whatever comes up. But don't waste all your time on this stuff. You have plenty of other problems on your plate. Uh, the vehicle in question is parked right outside the Brown residence. Sound of moaning and loud laughter can be... Moaning? Turn on the siren and loudspeaker and shut that house. Open up, please. Sneak into the house through an open window. Well, that's not right. You can't, that's, you can't just walk in. Uh... Well, that might get him shot right away. This might be the better bet. Alright! Offender caught! Officers unharmed! Yes! Now get back, because we need you. <laughs> we don't have anybody here. So this is pretty decent. When did we start, like, trying to make money for this guy? Probably things pop up or whatever, right? Oh! Oh, it's nighttime now. Okay. Yes! Offender caught, officers unharmed. Good. Price needs a lot of professionalism. Oh, what about citizens? We're doing good so far, guys and girls, whoever. I want to send SWAT out. Go, SWAT. Assault. Offender caught, officers unharmed. Yes. So it looks like when they catch someone, their professionalism goes up. When they don't, it goes down. So I need to try to send the maximum amount of officers each time. Plus, it helps everybody. Like, we just got 30 professionalism off that. So they're going to return to the station now. We got two people ready to rock our best. And someone who's getting better, anyway. More texts coming in, of course. End of the day. Good. There we go. If you think you'll need a couple of extra hands tomorrow, you can order any cop to come in and work overtime, but they if they're working flat out, they'll be much more exhausted. Somebody's bound to make a mistake. Oh, okay. We don't know what these guys were doing. Do we ever get to know what they're doing? Oh, they're at home, but they're coming in. Why would you need detectives during the night? I guess they would need to go out and check stuff out, right? That makes sense, I guess. Moser. Beasley. These guys sound like good cops right there. Very cool. I like this guy. He looks like, uh, who's that dude? Who's that guy we were talking about? My girlfriend and I were in the car. We're talking about him today. Uh, he played in Fargo. He was in True Romance. No, was he in True Romance? I don't think so. He was in Empire, Boardwalk Empire. Ah, oh, I can't remember his name. Help me out in the comments. Um, damn it, I can't remember. We gotta move on. But that looks like him right there. End the day. Now, can we make any shady deals or anything? Used to be when I asked Kendrick to stay late at the office, he liked to grumble and crack wise. Nowadays, he doesn't have well, to look at him. He's an old freaking man. Slumped shoulders, blank stare, wrinkled skin. He's probably got a stash of cash weeks, in the bank, though. I hardly recognize my old friend. In his younger years, he reminded me of a gallant royal officer in an old Kipling story. Yeah, he's beat down by the uh, just mafia the now. Of the public pressure, but from the shame of oh man, sucks. Internal affairs raided the library he inherited from his grandfather. Yeah, hoping they'd find they found it in a bank though. It's probably in some Swiss bank. Swiss bank. Heard about the look on his face. The fearless policeman standing helpless in horror. Awesome. I've known Francis for thirty years. The past 20 years, he's played loose with the law. And I know that a certain <laughs> point, every stolen dollar brings more misery than anything else. Yeah, right. Probably sounds crazy, but I... Just launder it, and you're fine. What can I do? Your friends are your friends, and these are the waters we swim in. Well, yeah. Gotta know who you can trust. Called all of the people on that list today. Now they know you're in business. So you could get a call from any of them. Hmm. You don't need to worry about any of them. I've cleared them all. And what kind of business are we talking here? It's nothing too serious. Just like you asked. Should be just a few small favors. Payments hmm. Vary depending on yeah, the small favors turn into large favors. How much are you looking to earn? About 500 million. grand. <laughs> Half a million. 
Why not a whole million? Because everybody wants to take a million. Figured I'd try something different. Half a million in 180 days? Well, you could earn it all above board if you netted all the big fish and hit all your bonuses. Hmm. Do you for a fisherman? Well, you never got into my business, and I'm not trying to get into yours. But be careful about bringing in any other cops. Yep. Sooner or later, they'll put the finger on you. And and one more thing, Jack. I remember what you said, but I should probably add one more name. Christopher to Sand. Christopher Sand. Sounds interesting. Sand. Christopher G. Sand. Everyone knows the name, but hmm. few could tell you who he is. The old man stays away from the spotlight. Yeah, looks Always like a Gatsby wears party. old-fashioned jeans and knitted sweaters. Gives to charity. Rarely attends social Sounds events. like Steve Jobs. An avid hunter, I hear. Even dabbles in poetry. You'd never guess he's the head of the oldest and most powerful gang in the city. <laughs> yeah. Goes back as far as his great grandfather. They're called the old bastards. And is strict about following the old rules. He rarely involves himself in commonplace murders and robberies. Hardly needs to intimidate anyone to get his point across. The people who work for him each have their sphere. Nice. They provide protection where needed, even work with the authorities when they want to make a deal. Sounds Meanwhile, like Sam pretty good pulls the strings without getting his hands dirty. set up. People sometimes mistake his quiet approach. A couple years ago, an arms dealer decided to expand its business without asking permission, and his whole family paid the price. Whoa, it looks like they're hung right there. Weeks, Sand killed 31 people old men, women, even a few teenagers. Oh, man. And Sand's people made sure every paper reported it. Frank, I don't want to hear you say that name again. Jack, please, listen to me. I'm in with these guys. We agreed, Frank. That's not the kind of business I'm into. I don't go there. Never have, never will. Yeah, you don't want to piss in that pot, man. That is probably not a good idea. Checkpoint day three. So, I'm going to cut it right here because these are kind of odd, going to be odd episodes. I'm going to try to do 30-minute episodes, one a day, until we're done with this. But it, I think it feels good to cut it at the end of a day. So I'm probably going to try to do that. Um, so we're going to end episode one right here. Let me know what you think. Like and share if you do like this game. You want me to keep playing it. That's how I kind of know how many people are watching and how many people are liking what, what they're seeing. Uh, let me know if you get this. There's a link in the video description uh, for this game on Steam. Check it out. Tell me if you buy it. Also, I'm, I always report back to the developers if any of the people in my series bought any of the games and how they like it and stuff like that. So if you could just give feedback, if you want to give feedback to the developers, put it in the video, in the comment section, and I will forward that back to them. So I will see you tomorrow, and everyone stay frosty.